Do you work or are you a student? Presently, I am a student. I have been studying at Beijing University for three years. I will graduate in one year. What subject are you studying? I am studying accounting. Along with accounting, I am also majoring in business finance. Why did you choose to study that? My father has a business and I want to work with him. I plan to take over company finances. Do you like your university? It's okay. I'm not thrilled with it, but I am getting the education that I wanted. Is there anything you don't like about your studies? Basically, studying. Just joking. Some of my studies I just have to take for the credits, and that gets a little tedious sometimes. Which subject do you like the most? I like math. For some reason, math comes easy to me. It could be because my father was a math teacher. Which subject do you think will be most useful to you after you leave university? I suppose my English class will be the most useful since I am planning on studying further in Australia. Probably 90% of what I've learned I will never use though. Do you often get together with your classmates after classes? I get together with my classmates as much as I can after class. Getting together with them really helps to relieve the pressure for me. What was your favourite subject in high school? Well, I think my favourite subject in high school was art. One reason was I sat next to the prettiest girl in the class. Which school subject do you think is most useful for people in adult life? Any subject having to do with communication would be the most useful when you graduate from school. Geography is also a subject that is nice to know if you are going to travel. You would want to know what country you are in and which country is north and which is south. Could you tell me what you do for a living? I work in the foreign trade department. I'm in sales. It is my job to bring foreign investors to the city to open up a business here. What are your responsibilities at work? I have to develop a strategy for bringing foreign investment to Beijing. I work together with other departments to basically sell and promote Beijing as a good place to start a business. What is the most interesting part of your work? The most interesting part of my work is meeting people from other countries. To me, people are very interesting, and I am keen on learning the customs and cultures of other countries. Is there anything you don't like about your job? The pay is one thing that I don't like about my job. My boss is another thing that I don't like about my job. The distance to the office is the last thing that I don't like about my job. Is your job very important to you? My job is very important to me. If I didn't have my job, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you, applying for a chance to go overseas. Would you like to change your job? I don't want to get stuck at this job that I am working at now. I am still young, so I want to learn as much as I can, and then I plan on starting my own business. Do you often get together with your colleagues, workmates, after work? I do get together with my colleagues after work as much as I can. When I get together with them, we can shoot the breeze and have a few beers. I really look forward to getting together with them and count on it to make my week.
Whereabouts did you grow up? I grew up in Tianjin, a city that is southeast of Beijing. It is closer to the sea than Beijing and is also a municipal city like Beijing. Do you still live there? No, I haven't lived there for many years. I went to school here in Beijing and have simply settled here and made it my hometown. I still go back to Tianjin every once in a while. What's the most famous place in your hometown? Well, there isn't much in Tianjin that is famous, not like Beijing, where there are so many famous places. But the TV tower is where most people want to go when they come to Tianjin. How has your hometown changed in recent years? I hardly even recognize it. It has changed so much. Just like most of China, Tianjin is changing rapidly at an alarming rate. Where do you live now? I live in Beijing now. I am happy to be here because the city is really on the move, and there is a lot of excitement here because of the next Olympics. What part of the city do you like best? I like the CBD the most because there are a lot of clubs there, and also a lot of hustle and bustle, and that is what I am into. I like to be where the crowds are, the same as most young people. Is there anything you don't like about this city? The springtime, when the winds from the Gobi Desert blow in and the sky turns a hazy orange, is one thing I don't like about Beijing. Another one of my least favorite things is having to fight rush hour traffic on the subway. Do you want to live in a big city or a small town? I just couldn't go back to living in a small town. I have gotten accustomed to life in the big city, and it would be hard to get me back to those country roads. What part of your day do you like best? My favorite part of the day is late afternoon. Because the day's work is coming to an end, I can go home and I have the evening to look forward to, and the weather is generally pleasant and cool. What is the busiest part of the day for you? From about ten o'clock to noon, that is when I have to take care of my work, and things are a bit hectic. When do you have free time? I have free time during the evenings and on the weekends. I guess you could say that I have it pretty good, because a lot of people here in China don't have so much free time. What's your favorite way to relax? I take a long hot shower, and then I jump in bed with a good book and something to snack on. It's a little hard on my figure, but then it just means that I have to do a few more exercises the next morning. Do you do things in your leisure time with friends or family? Mostly with my friends. I often go out to eat or go shopping with my friends, and sometimes we stay in and watch a movie or play games. Sometimes we just talk together. Do you have any hobbies or interests? I love to read novels, go go karting, hiking, watch movies, and write. I have lots of different interests. How do you usually spend the weekend? I sleep late and watch movies. I go out with my friends, or I work on different projects I haven't had time for during the week. Sometimes, if I'm really tired or stressed from the week, I will just stay in bed all weekend. Which do you prefer, Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, because I can go out in the evening and stay out late, and I don't have to worry about waking up early for work the next morning. Are weekends important to you? Very. 
It's some of the only time I can use for my hobbies or spend with my family. On the weekends, I feel free to do exactly what I want. Should people be paid overtime for working at the weekend? Definitely. Working overtime is extra, and it takes away the relaxation time so many people need. So people should be compensated for it. Do you like shopping? No, I actually don't like shopping. I hate making decisions, and it irritates me to spend all that time looking for what I want. It irritates me even more if it's too expensive. On top of that, are there many shops near where you live? Yes, but only small shops which sell all kinds of curious things. No big shopping malls. I think there is going to be a shopping center opening up soon near where I live, and that should be nice. Who usually does the shopping in your home? My mum does the shopping, and sometimes I go along too. Sometimes I have to go out and do the shopping, and I enjoy haggling with the vendors. I look forward to it. Do you have a regular time to go shopping? For some things, yes. For example, my mum goes food shopping twice a week, but I only go shopping for clothes when I feel like it. What things do you usually buy when you go shopping? I buy way too much jewelry, and peculiar hats that I will never wear, and lots of scarves. It's hard for me to make decisions on what to buy when it's anything real big or costly. Do you prefer shopping in small shops or big supermarkets and department stores? I prefer shopping in small shops. Because you can find more unusual things, and they come cheaper too. I like to get to know the owners, and sometimes they will cater to me a bit. What do you do in your holidays? For most holidays, I just stay home and rest and enjoy myself. But if it's a particularly long holiday, I like to travel. If I stay home, I can read and play computer games and do what I like to do. I can spend time with my friends, although often my relatives want me to visit them as well. So there is a lot to do. Do you think holidays are becoming more and more important? Not necessarily. Holidays have always been important to people, but of course, the harder your work, the more important your holiday becomes to you because you need that relaxation more. Do you like to travel in your holidays or free time? If it's a long holiday, I love to travel, especially to places I have never been to before. It's an adventure, and you see so many great and beautiful and strange things. I really enjoy traveling because when you have a change of scenery and a change of environment for a while, it helps you to relax and is good for your health. What kind of places do you like to travel to? I like to travel to exotic places, different countries, and places with beautiful natural scenery. However. I don't often have the opportunity to go to places like that, so instead I like to go to places where I can enjoy myself with my friends and where there are fun things to do together. Have you ever been to the seaside? Yes, I've had several vacations at the seaside. There is a beach not too far from where my family lives, so every time I go to visit my family. We spend a lot of time on the beach. Why do some people take their holidays at the seaside? I guess they like to swim, lie on the sand, tan, and go sailing on the sea. Plus, there are usually a lot of nice restaurants near the seaside, and it is a good opportunity to enjoy fresh seafood.
do you want to live near the sea? No, I don't like the sea. It's so salty and deep, and there are all kinds of fish and other creatures swimming about in it. On the other hand, the air is often quite clean near the sea, and the weather very pleasant compared to farther inland. So if I was concerned about my health, I would probably choose to live near the sea.